Hello class. So today we're going to be going over elimination again. Last week we did what was called easy elimination. And it doesn't make this any harder, it's just it has more than one step to it. So today, if you notice, the coefficients of x are not opposites of each other. And the coefficients of y also are not opposites of each other. So today we are going to have to make them to be opposite of each other. If you notice, 2 is a factor of 6. So we are going to try and make this y right here, this coefficient of y, to be the opposite of 6. So 2 goes into 6 three times. So I'm going to multiply the first equation on both sides of the equal sign by not just 3, but negative 3. And I'm going to multiply this side also by negative 3. The reason I do that is because if I distribute, I would get negative 6x minus 6y equals negative, ooh, I almost made a mistake, positive 6. And when I do that, you will now notice that the 6y and the negative 6y are opposites of each other. And now we can add the two equations together. So when I do that, I get x, those cancel out, I get equals, and I get a negative 8. And as we talked about the other day, we don't want just the x, we also want the y value. So we need to plug that back in. So we can pick either first or second equation. I'm going to go ahead and pick the first equation. So 2, and I'm going to multiply by the negative 8 that we just found, plus 2y equals negative 2. I multiply, and I get negative 16, plus 2y equals negative 2. I add 16 to both sides of the equal sign. I get 2y equals 14. I divide by 2 on both sides. And I get y is equal to 7. Now as we discussed before, that is not our answer. Our solution has to be the coordinate negative 8 7. Now we're going to try it one more time before I let you do it on your own. So this one says 6x plus 5y equals 14 and negative 12x plus 3y equals 24. Again, you notice that the coefficients of both the x and the y do not have opposites of each other. But as I look at it, the 6 evenly goes into 12, whereas 5 does not go into 3, and 3 does not go into 5. So I don't want to use the coefficients of y. I want to use the coefficients of x. So, what can I multiply by the first equation in order to get it to be 12 as the coefficient of x? I go ahead and I multiply this by 2. Now I have to make sure that I do it on both sides of the equal sign because the multiplication property of 
equality says that I need to multiply on both sides of the equal sign. So then I get 12x plus 10y equals 28. And again, I just add these together. Now, you may ask, well, do I always have to do something to the first equation? No, it just happens with these two e examples that we're doing it to the first equation. So I add straight down, and that would be 0. Then I get 13y here, and here I would get 52. I divide both sides by 13, and I would get y equals, ooh, ooh, anybody going to tell me? Oh, you're not here with me. How about 4? Then I must do the same as I did before and plug that in. So 6x plus 5 times y is 4, so I'm substituting the 4 in equals 14. I get 6x plus 20 equals 14. I sub subtract 20 from both sides. I almost subtracted there. I bring down the 6x. I get negative 6. I divide by 6 on both sides. And I get x equals negative 1. So my solution for this problem would be negative 1, 4. Now, I want you to do the next problem on your own. Now, now that you've done that problem, we're going to come over here. If you notice on this one, it says negative 7x plus 10y equals 21, and 6x plus 6y equals negative 18. If you notice, 7 is not a factor of 6, nor is 6 a factor of 7. 6 is not a factor of 10, nor is 10 a factor of 6. So this time around, we are going to have to multiply both of the equations by a number. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get rid of my x's. It doesn't matter which one I do, but I'm going to try and get rid of my x's. Now, the reason I picked that is because one of them is already negative for the coefficient and the other one is positive. So then that means I don't have to multiply by a negative number. On the first one, the coefficient of x, sorry, the coefficient of the bottom one is 6 for x. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 6. And when I do that, I get negative 42x plus 60y equals 126. Then, for the bottom equation, I'm going to multiply it not by the negative 7, but by a positive 7. When I do that, I get 42x plus 42y. Ooh, that came out nice, didn't it? Okay, 56. 5 carry, ooh, that's interesting. Then, I add the 2. 
That would get me 102y equals 0. I divide both sides by 102 and get y equals 0. And then as we've done on all the problems so far, we go ahead and replace y with 0. So I'm just going to do the first one. Multiply 10 by 0. I get negative 7x. Now that becomes 0, so I don't need to write that down. And I get equals 21. Divide by a negative 7 on both sides of the equal sign. And I get negative 3. So my answer is negative 3, 0. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's try a different problem. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Again, we look at the coefficients of x. They are not opposites of each other. We look at the coefficients of 9, or of y, 9 and 7. They are not opposites of each other, nor are they factors of each other. So I, again, have to multiply both of the equations by a number. Now, should I do it by the coefficients of x, or should I do it by the coefficients of y? Now, you may say, oh, the 2 and the 3 are smaller numbers. Let's do those. Well, we can do those, or we could do the y's. I'm going to head and go ahead and do this by 3, and I'm going to get a negative 6x plus 27y equals 60. Now, for the second one, we have to make sure that comes out to a positive 6 for the coefficient of x, not a negative 6. So that means down here, I'm not going to multiply just by 2, I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by negative 2. Anybody notice I didn't write multiply by 3 there? So when I do that, I get 6x minus 14y equals negative 8. Then we do just like we did before, and we add these two together. When I add them together, notice that the x's cancel out. Then here, 13y equals 52. I divide both sides by 13 and I, want, I get y equals 4. Again, I need just, I don't need just 4 for y, I need something for x. So I need to plug that back in. So negative 2x plus 9 times 4 equals 20. Negative 2x plus 36 equals 20. Subtract 36 from both sides, and I get negative 2x equals negative 16. And I get negative, ooh, I divide by negative 2, I get x equals 8. So the solution to this would be 8, 4. Okay, this last one I want you to do on your own. 10x minus 2y equals negative 4. In the second equation, negative 8x 